What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. In today's episode, we try finishing up the intercooler piping and downpipe on Midori. And uh, it should have a fully working turbo kit by the end of the day. So fingers crossed that uh, I actually get all this done. So we already got the garage heated up. It's currently almost 70 degrees in here. Yeah, it feels good. So it's like in the teens outside. So this garage is definitely heating up. Thank God for this roof. So I didn't film. Uh, I ended up uh, getting the downpipe up and I didn't film this, but I got the downpipe pretty much routed where it needs to go with the hangers and everything. And then I also painted the turbo pink, uh, even though it photographs red for some reason or orange, um, it is pink. And then I truck bed coated the heat shield, so that's all nice and fresh. I also got my new air filter in. So now you're caught up and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started uh, finishing up this downpipe and exhaust and then uh, come to getting worked on the air intercooler pipe. So enjoy the ride. All right guys, well, uh, first things first, uh, I just got the downpipe and exhaust pretty much wrapped up. As you can see from this, uh, I'm gonna still have to cut the end of it just to get it to the right length. But before I do that, I need to get the manifold like uh, I need to get the manifold, the downpipe, the turbo, I need to get all that back off. And then I'm going to exa use exhaust cement and make sure that uh, it's all sealed and final installed. And then I will put the exhaust up and then we start working on intercooler pipes. So yeah, enjoy this time lapse me taking all this stuff off. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, I got the turbo actually final installed now. Got everything straight and exhaust cemented up so it shouldn't have any leaks. So next thing I'm gonna do is get the downpipe installed and uh, get the exhaust finished, which uh, is pretty boring. So I'm just gonna have this skip ahead to uh, probably changing the oil and then first start up uh, just to see if I have any leaks or anything before I go further. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm ready to change the oil. So got the car running. Um, I can show you that really quick. She's thin! It don't sound too bad either. But I got the, uh, so the car runs, uh, turbo is spooling, which is good. Still need to make the intercooler pipes, but unfortunately I'm coming down with a sinus infection and my motivation is just completely just gone. Like I feel like I don't feel really bad, but I don't feel good. So I'm going to continue this on another day, probably next weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll get all the, I mean, I can't drive the car anyway right now, so it's not like it's going to be a big deal. So. Uh, I'll continue this uh, next weekend, so see you guys next Saturday. What's up guys? So, uh, jump to Friday here. Uh, I know I said I was going to jump to Saturday, but uh, unforeseen circumstances have, uh, came up. And uh, now I'm going to be working on Saturday, so now I have to get it this done before work and after work. So, that's going to be a little challenge, but I'm going to get it done. So, I kind of dipped you guys a little bit. I was kind of focused on getting the first pipe done just to make sure that I knew what I was doing still and so I got it done so I got the charge pipe actually the first uh, the one that comes off the turbo I got that in and tacked all together and it comes around spaghetti pile and goes into the intercooler but yeah so uh, the next pipe I'll go into detail on how to make it yeah I'll show you guys that um, that one should be a little bit more complex because uh, I have to go over the trans and everything so yeah, uh, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be seeing that next. So yeah, I kind of did it again. I came out here after work, it's Friday night. I got the pipe done. Um, I totally forgot to record. Uh, I just got really focused. It started going really wrong really quick, so that kind of didn't help, but uh, I got it to work actually. And I actually got it all finished welded tonight too. So currently it's in paint and it is. it actually fits. Like, it actually fits in the car with, in one piece. I can actually get it to uh, go where it needs to go. So, yeah, that uh, goes in where it goes down, over, down, 
and then back around. Yeah, uh, so this video is probably gonna include the first drive. I think uh, we're probably gonna end up cutting to tomorrow when I'm finished welding the other pipe. We're gonna, I'm gonna end up showing you guys uh, taking it along for the first drive. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I go to finish weld the other pipe. I promise I'll record that one. All right guys, welcome to Saturday night. I'm gonna start by finish welding the first intercooler pipe get that into paint as quick as possible so it has time to dry and then I gotta put the blow off valve onto the second pipe because I forgot to so I'm gonna have to grind the paint that I just painted on it back off and weld up the uh, blow off valve flange so yeah enjoy watching this time lapse of me welding this pipe. So the last I left you off I was doing the do the time lapse but uh, so, uh, yeah, I told you guys I would take you for a ride in the car. Well, uh, I just went out for my first drive, and holy crap, it is amazing what three pounds does to a car. Um, it is so much faster. Uh, it's staying within a safe range with the wideband and everything. It's doing good. The only thing that I think I might end up having to do is I think I actually might have to upgrade my clutch, because I'm pretty sure I'm at the limits, because it's starting to slip a little bit, so... That's not good. So I might be uh, upgrading to the ACT, I think. It is that time of year to start spending some money. So so I think uh, I'm gonna take you guys in the car and we're gonna go for a quick little spin. All right, hopefully you guys are good back there. Uh, just uh, so you are also aware, the airbag system currently is not working. So I am fully up, which it really messes with my alignment. So I have like no traction like any gear. So yeah, um, let's uh, go for a ride and show you guys what it sounds like. take it on its uh, first drive boosted down Woodward but anyway I know this video is kind of choppy sorry about that um, like I just totally got focused in on what I was doing I mean this was a lot of work and uh, yeah I didn't mean to not re not record more of it but uh, hopefully I got enough to at least make a decent video so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, if you did please give us a like comment subscribe and uh, we'll be definitely seeing you in the next one so peace